Hello, this is Victoria and Rachel, and today we're going to discuss the design and gain of an op-amp amplifier. The goals for this video are to describe how to build a simple inverting amplifier using an op-amp, and to calculate the gain of this amplifier. The first task in building this circuit is to determine what pins of the op-amp have what functionality. In this example, we are using a 741 op-amp. However, the functionality of the pins varies between models, so be sure to consult the spec sheet for your op-amp. While the numbers corresponding to the functionality may vary, all op-amps have these fundamental pins. For our circuit, we ignore the offset and NC pins. Going counterclockwise around the op-amp, the pins are as follows. Offset, inverting input, non-inverting input, negative DC voltage, offset, output, positive DC voltage, and NC. We will begin with a simple diagram of an op-amp as seen in this circuit diagram. While the op-amp has eight terminals, only three are shown. This is because we are both ignoring the offsets and NCs and assuming the positive and negative DC voltages are connected. This is a basic op-amp amplifier. Because of the nature of op-amps, the inverting and non-inverting inputs must be the same value. The setup of the op-amp amplifier assures that the output will be whatever is necessary so that these conditions are met. Due to this nature, the values of the resistors can be manipulated to change the gain on the output, effectively creating an amplifier. The reason why this works is because the current is the same through both resistors. Changing the resistance values also changes the voltage drop needed to make the situation valid. By taking V out over V in, we find the value for that relationship to be R2 over R1, which is the gain of the circuit. Let's say we have a circuit with R1 as 1 kilo ohm and R2 as 2.5 kilo ohms. Since gain equals R2 over R1, the overall gain of the circuit is 2.5. In an ideal, non-railing circuit, this means that an input of 2 volts would have an output of 5 volts. Thanks for watching!